Hey y'all. How y'all feeling this evening? That's good. Oh, I'm feeling wonderful. Thanks for asking. What y'all cook? Hmm. Some other chicken I heard. Sounds good. Some asparagus. Sounds real good. Me? Well, I ain't really cooked today. Too tired. I got some takeout for me and my babies. They went with their uh their dad. So they was gone for a little while. I ain't cooked. Tired, it was a long day today. Not nothing in particular, just a lot of running around. Visiting folks. Having discussions. Now, I had a couple of pretty decent discussions today. Hmm. I had a couple of people call me for some advice. Which is fine. I am mind. One in particular sticking with me. Long time friend. Got a hold of me today. Because they know the type of work I do. And they was basically asking me how can they get their confidence and their stamina not in the bedroom, just every day? How can they get their mojo back? And I asked them, I said, well, what do you mean? I asked them if it was of a sexual nature. I said, no. It was not. Just just like other people got weary. Lost the momentum. Passion. Just doing normal things in life. I'm like, yeah, well, you know. That's normal around this time. And they asked me, what can they do? Not tell them. Get you some red candles. See, this person is also in the spiritual community, but everybody is on their path. And they was just asking, what else can they do, basically? Not say. Get you some red candles. And they was like, red candles? Red candles is for love and attracting a partner. You know, boosting your sex, and I'm like, yeah, that's true. Get you some red candles. I was like, well, what is the red candles for? I said, see, red candles is more. It's used more for more than just love and lust. Anything of a sexual nature. Red candles can be used in aiding and defeating spiritual warfare. See, red candles, with the right intention, will boost your confidence. Call back your willpower. Somebody is overstepping their boundaries. Increase your strength. Give you courage and determination to keep fighting for spiritual warfare, spiritual battles. Red candles 
my good. Four. So you see, you take your red candle. You need to write your intentions on that old parchment paper. Bay leaf. Papyrus, which is my favorite. And you can burn it off your red candle. Or, what I like to do, I like to wrap my intention in my candle. So nothing goes to waste. And make sure it's an even burn. Wrap it on around. And I see it. And I watch the candle burn. And I read the wax and the flame. So I told them, get you two red candles. Write your attention, unscribe them in your candle. Keep your intentions pure. What you seek, seeks you. Red candles. Good for spiritual warfare. Now, another thing. These things right here, I ain't picked these up in a long time. My voodoo tarot. A couple of days while I was off, I was doing some light reading. Just brushing up on some things. Nope, not doing voodoo. I don't mess around with voodoo. And I don't play around with the dye. But I do, I do like to do a little light reading because you see, this whole area, it's pretty, uh, not complicated, but complex, very complex. So I like to stay up on reading and studies. So picked up this. The time I was off, now shuffle, spray to come out. I look, pick them back up, shuffle them again. Boop, spray to come out. Now look, pick them back up. Third time, shuffle. These came out. Spirit said, stop. I was going to come on here early and share, but I had running around to do. I ain't had time to do nothing else. I couldn't come down here and, and share with y'all, so I left them just like this. Funny thing about these cards, like I said, I ain't used these in a long time, and I was skeptic. So, Bring them on my uh my YouTube channel. The energy in these cards is very strong, very potent. When I picked them up, I the got a little bored of reading. Some happened that ain't never happened before. As I was shuffling, start getting sick to my stomach, having a real nauseated feeling. And me being me, I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe I need to put these down. Maybe it ain't for me. Maybe I need to just put them away. So as I started putting them away, Spirit told me, stop. Shuffle them cards. Do it again. So I'm shuffling them. As I'm shoving, I'm feeling nauseated. The feeling is getting stronger and stronger. The spirit just telling me to keep going. Don't stop. Three times. Got these cards. And I left them. And I kept, I kept these out. I'm going to share them with y'all.
we have Ago. Spirit of the Ocean, King of the Ocean. Creole French is a little fuzzy. If I'm not mistaken, it's Spirit of the Ocean. Secret Societies. Agu La Fumbo. World's Aid. Yep, I just left from here. Now, every time I came in, I looked. And I walked away. Came in again, looked. And I walked away. And I sat. And I'm looking at the cards. And I start getting that pressure. You know that pressure to be the right between the eyes at the very top. I'll go live on ball. Like I said, I'll go. I'll go. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I'll go. Spirit of the Ocean, La Flambeau, Torchbearer, or the Torchbringer. Two boats on the ocean, one calm, one not so much. Somebody in some hot water. Somebody in double crossed an organization. See, the thing about these organizations you start off real good, you get initiated, you get the rub elbows with the higher ranking members. And if you become a favorite, you get gifts. And no matter what it is, it could be gift of recognition, it could be monetary, it could be anything. If they like you, they see you have potential. But you see, some people get in these organizations and they get the gifts and the notoriety. They start to get on their high horse. High and mighty. Start smelling themselves. As my grandma would say. Start stepping outside of that lane. Doing shit. That goes against the order. Said organizations. Right? Start taking secrets, hidden knowledge from these organizations, trying to start their own. Somebody's being brought to face an order or an organization. On the other hand, somebody's being sacrificed, possibly sold to an order or an organization. That part didn't go through. There's a community there's a community 
of folks and some hot ass water. <laughs> I just heard Upshits Creek and you lost all the paddles. Somebody try to sacrifice. Somebody try to sacrifice a being of light to a group, an organization, probably some deities. It ain't go so well. Sacrifice rejected. Now something's been released on a community group of people. Also, I'm seeing somebody's ritual went haywire. Out of control. Somebody can't control the thing that they hatched. That's been incubated. And now it's released. See all these wonderful people in that boat, doing that fishing ritual, beating that drum to the spirit of the ocean. Spiritual laws and crimes has been committed. Somebody got an answer for that. No, I ain't gonna do no clarification. I just wanted to share these. There's a community that's in some hot water. Got some explaining. Whoever it is that you subscribe to. Look like Apex. I would have said Dambala, but you know, Dambala is a kind and gentle. Deity. Or Lua. This ain't him. The Mala don't really meddle in the affairs of humans. Yeah, no. No. It's look like a pill. Hmm. Children of Satan. Possibly AC. Y'all can put that together y'all sales. I ain't trying to get canceled. We came for by the religious uh, folk that frequents the tarot community. That's what that look like to me. They got AC written all on it. Also, seen Leviathan spear when I was shuffling. And that spear had snakes coming out of his mouth. So it is definitely children of the underwear. It makes sense. All these senseless massacres that's happening. Mass rituals being done. Portals being open. Magic going haywire. Out of control. Honey, somebody got an answer for me.
Hmm. Somebody also got duped into joining an organization. It was all fine and dandy. He was down for the cause. Willing to ride or die. Until you discovered you was on the menu. Hmm. How unfortunate. Playing games. This don't look like the floor is lava to me. What about y'all? <sighs> Seeing something can happen between 11 o'clock, 11.44 a.m. or p.m. Also, 4.44 or 4.40. Also, the number 80 could be significant to somebody. Or the number 8. Zero begins. New beginnings. Starting from scratch. Beginning of creation. Ancient beings. Something's coming out the water. Something's going to be sighted in the water. Big two. Might take down a cruise ship. Or knock up against a cruise ship. Or a boat. Hmm. I'm also seeing. <laughs> you sunk my battleship. Could be a submarine. Some with the Navy SEALs. Or the Marines. Some can also happen to somebody's boat. A yacht. There's a lot of drinking and partying on somebody's yacht. Accident is going to happen. Somebody's going to go missing off a boat. Watch your children. Watch your loved ones. Don't drink too much on these cruise ships. Also, I'm saying somebody being initiated. Rite of passage. Indigenous people. I'm also saying snake god. And I'm no, I know. I said Dumbala. Some nails. No, I say they pip. Mm mm. Some nails. Ophicus. The constellation. Reptilians.
They're going to try to say somebody was born in the constellation of Ophicus. Okay. But they're going to push that 13th constellation even harder. I'm also seeing another oil rig catch on fire in the middle of the ocean. Possibly a boat leaking oil into the ocean of gasoline. Say it once before, something's going to be discovered in the woods. Could be a hunter. It's gonna come across some while hunting deers. They're gonna come across some. Possibly a person. Somebody's gonna get stuck in the woods. Lost. Are they making a new Blair Witch movie? New paranormal activity movie? I don't know. Possibly. <sighs> Some strange reason I'm seeing snake skin underwear. I don't know where the fuck that came from. Y'all some freaks. You're welcome here. I wouldn't wear them. Don't look too comfortable to me. <laughs> I'm also seeing snake meat. Something about some snake meat. I'm going to wrap this up. I'll see y'all in the end. Fuck with me. I'm going to relax and go to bed. Finish my Stranger Things. Four. It's really good, too. I'm only on the second episode. Also, somebody's out here. Wondering what's good on Netflix. I'ma tell you. Strange Things 4, that's one. This other one is not on Netflix, but it's really good. It's called Moonfall. Really good sci-fi action movie. Y'all should check it out. It's really thought provoking. Okay, y'all. I'm gone. Good night and good morning. Bye, y'all. <laughs>